The Rush, issue number one from Vault Comics. So once again, this one was recommended to me by Will C. It is a Western horror. I will say that this one was interesting. Not as... I didn't enjoy it as much as the previous one, as Cross to Bear, but it's not bad. Let's let's get into it, and, I, and we, we can uh, we can discuss a little bit more. So we start off April 1899, 40 miles north of Dawson City, Yukon Territory, and we have just some guys out in the snow in a camp. When all of a sudden they see a figure show up, and they think that it might be Indians, so they get ready to blast it. When they see a man with a bowler and tie. And there's no breath coming out from his mouth. And so they're like, oh, no, it's him. we got to run for it. And this is when it gets kind of interesting. I'm like, who the hell is this guy? Why are they so freaked out by some dude in a bowler hat? But as he gets closer, we see what looks like spider legs appearing from behind him. I'm like, okay, this is getting kind of interesting. What the hell is going on? And then he approaches one of the guys and he just blasts them with a, it looks like a sawed-off shotgun. So I was like, oh, okay. I don't know about that. I would have maybe liked it better if I had seen him like, get closer. And then you see one of the guys and he's like, you know, freaking out. And then maybe he like you hear a scream or whatever. Like, it just seems weird that he has like the, the either a spider is following right behind him or he has spider legs coming out of his back. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm kind of going with the latter i think he has i mean the former i think he, he has a, a spider like a giant spider that follows behind him so it just feels kind of weird that he just shows up to one of the guys and just blasts him with a regular shotgun like it's like dude you got a giant spider like there's some more horrifying stuff that you can do with that but just showing up right point blank with someone and blasting them all right okay whatever yeah the rest of this is basically a letter told by this woman woman who um is kind of estranged from her husband she's asking him like you know where's my son where's caleb and she kind of gets uh wind of where he's at he's basically at the same area that uh, the beginning took place he's, he's like in that snow area so we see her and she's traveling she's writing a, basically a letter to her, her son about what she's doing about hiring a trapper to make sure that she's safe about how much she misses him about like the stuff that you know she she's she's doing to get there and um yeah we have a scene like where she shows up at dawson city which is kind of um filled with a bunch of um rabble rousers i guess you could say like they're not good people and so there's actually a moment where uh there's going to be like this play or this act and the woman who's going to be singing is going to use the, the owl house and she puts the chair there to keep her locked in and then she changes into the lady's outfit and um, she appears in front of all these people and she basically asks for for help like she's saying i'm looking for my son his name is caleb he's 16 she kind of describes him and uh, all the men tell her to you know get lost and she leaves and i'm just like thank god that's all that happened to her <laughs> because the trapper who's with her really builds up how terrible this place is and he even says like i don't think you should do this this is a bad idea blah 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 and like, even while she's up there, the, the men are like, you know, uh, she's an old whore. She ain't worth nothing. Like, show off your legs or F off. You know, I'll, I'll, you ain't even worth uh, 50 a turn. You know, maybe, f you know, for 20 cents, you know, I'll pork you kind of stuff. So I was thinking, all right, they're going to they're gonna gang up on her. And y you know where I'm going with this. I don't have to spell it out for you. But thankfully, no, that doesn't happen. I'm like, okay, good. Because I don't, I don't want to read that. Um, so yeah, she uh, she is sleeping in her tent. The trapper's, you know, out. Um, someone's basically starting to trying to sneak into her tent when she pulls out a gun on him. And uh, the guy's like, you know, please, like, I heard what you were saying about your son. Like, I I, I seen him. I, I I worked with him. I know where he's at. And of course, uh, he's like, you know, I I don't have any money and stuff. Um, I was going to go up there, and since you're going up there, maybe you can take me. And the trapper's like, he's lying. Uh, he's this sound. The story's too convenient. As soon as you get, you know, two miles out of the city, he's gonna stick a knife in your neck. But the guy's like, you know, I, I ain't lying. Your boy has one of those beauty marks right here on his cheek, right? And the lady's like, all right, I I know he's telling the truth because when I was describing the boy, 
I didn't describe the birthmark, and since he knows about it, he had to have obviously seen him. So they go out and they travel, and eventually they get out into the snow area. And uh, while there, all of a sudden, they're they're stopping for a short little break when their dogs like get brutally attacked. And then um, the guy who was with them is freaking out. He's like, you know, he, he he's here. Uh, he's got to take someone that's like the stake. Uh, it's got to be one of you. Um, and then he's basically screaming f- uh, for the writer, like, you know, don't worry, like, I'll, I'll do one of them in for you. So, so like, you know, you, you can let me go, right? And he goes to try to kill the lady when she shoots them and when she, he gets shot in the head by this uh, by this guy who uh, claims to be uh, the sheriff around these parts uh, or I see inspector. And uh, yeah, he, he's supposed to take... He's supposed to keep the peace around here, but obviously he's not doing a great job. He's like, you, you got to get the hell out of here. Like, you know, we got to get to safety. We can't be out here. This isn't safe for a woman like you. Um, and she basically asks about her son, and he kind of informs that the son is gone. Like, he's like, you know, I I hope he didn't owe you any money. Yeah, uh, there's a tiny bit more, but yeah, I'm not going to get into it. Um. So there you go. There's the rush issue number one. Like I said, this one was more of a slow burn than the cross to bear. I will say I'm kind of interested in the the do with the bowler hat and the giant spider that follows after him. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in what the hell that whole thing is about. Uh, I'm hoping it's not going to be something cliche where it turns out that like the sun is to do with the bowler hat or something like that. That would be kind of lame. But yeah, it's interesting, I would say. The, the, this is... Uh, it's, it's, it's piqued my interest a bit. I will say, like I said, it's not, at least for this issue, it wasn't as enjoyable as Cross to Bear, but I didn't hate it. It was, it was, it was interesting. I'm going to try to find the next issue and, you know, once that comes out and read it and stuff and see if it, if it gets, you know, better. Um, but I mean, like if I was to grade this, I would give, I would give it maybe like a, I don't know, like a C plus, B minus. Like it wasn't, it's not bad or anything like that. It's just for some reason, something is just not resonating with me. But again, that, that 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 could just be me. Like the artwork is is pretty good, or at least I you know like I, I like it. It's, it's, it's kind of stylized, but it's not that bad. The horror elements were not too much. It was just mostly just the bowler hat with the the spider. And I will say that like the first time you see the bowler hat, dude, like just slowly coming up, and then you just see the spider legs slowly appearing behind him. That was like really well done and cool. Kind of took the element out when he just point blank shot I do with the shotgun it was just kind of like oh okay like it would have been better if he like if everyone else ran and just one dude stayed behind and you just see the bowler hat and the spider get closer and closer to him but you don't actually like see their full figures and stuff you just see like the shadow like falling over the dude and then the guy like screams or whatever and then that's it so you don't know what happens I think that would have made it a little bit more horrifying than just him walking up point blank and just shooting the dude in the chest with a shotgun I was like oh okay so he's just killing people like every other normal human being in this, you know, in the Wild West. He's just shooting a dude with a shotgun. That's that's all, all right, whatever. So yeah, the I we'll see how if the character of uh, if the woman character gets more interesting. Like at this point in time, like she, she, it is what it is. Like I'm not all that invested too much in her, but we'll see if that changes. So yeah, I I guess this is more like. I don't know. It, it, this is more like it, it's like a setup issue. Obviously, it's like a, the beginning. We're kind of introducing this world and these horrors and things, but there's just not enough, or at least it's just it didn't connect with me enough. If that makes any sense, I, it's really hard to explain because this is really more of like a personal thing than uh, than I would say a subjective thing. But yeah, this some reason it's just not fully connecting with me as much as Cross the Bear did. But it's not terrible, and I am going to keep giving it a chance. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't not enjoy myself reading this. Like I, I was entertained. It's just not as much as, um, as the other uh, series was, as Cross the Bear was. That one entertained me more than this one. But yeah, we'll we'll see where this goes. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's uh, the rush. Like I said, it's about this is it's uh, it's an above average issue. We'll see if it gets a lot better as it goes on but yeah uh if you guys got any recommendations for comics manga let me know if you guys enjoy the video i would like to hear your guys' thoughts especially if you guys have read this issue what are your thoughts on it but yeah uh hope to see you guys next time take care everybody later so what'd you guys think of that video i hope you guys enjoyed 
If you guys haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell for notification, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far, and I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see, and I hope to see you guys next time. Later.